it's obviously very exciting and we've competed in that great venue before uh you know with uh being at cincinnati uh and competing in south florida but you know i owe a lot to the tampa bay buccaneers organization in the, in the orange days of 1987 and 88 and uh you know really learned so much and then being able to to be a ball boy during super bowl 25 uh, and have those experiences so uh you know the tampa area the tampa bay area has kind of been considered a second home for me so to speak so it'll be great to go back and uh you know be a part of this this great bowl tradition that they have just uh you know, wrote uh, the owner of Allen Sporting Goods a long letter of wanting to uh, work for the Bucks one day, and they had serviced the Buccaneers. And I got a phone call one day in the summer from Frankie Pupello, the longtime equipment manager, and asked me to uh, if I'd want to come do the laundry for training camp. And it was the first uh, season of the Ray Perkins era, and we, they had drafted Vinny Testaverde and uh, went down there, and uh, the rest is kind of history. And then, uh, you know, Bill relationships to this day are very very strong particularly with Doug Graver and uh and Doug Graver gave me my first opportunity to be a graduate assistant at Rutgers when he left the Bucks to to be uh the head football coach there and then uh you know relationships with former players Calvin McGee who was a tight end for the Buccaneers was the offensive coordinator at West Virginia and that's how I was able to uh, get in front of coach Rodriguez to become the receiver coach there so uh you know there's a a lot of bloodlines, so to speak, with, with the Bucks, and, and uh, you know, have a lot of uh, gratitude towards them because I wouldn't be where I'm at today without that organization. And what, what's the story of Super Bowl 25 ball boy? How that happened? <laughs> Well, again, was uh, invited by Frankie Pupello to, uh, you know, to, to actually work the Super Bowl. And that was, uh, you know, spent a week down there with the Buffalo Bills and New York Giants and actually, uh, you know, had the ball uh, when it was missed, I believe, wide right. Uh, but just the experience of being down there and working with both organizations and seeing the preparation that goes in uh, to preparing to play for a Super Bowl. And those are all those memories, you know, that really last a lifetime and you know a lot of those experiences I, I still refer back to this day after Norwood missed the field goal you had that football in your head had the ball and uh unfortunately the referee came and got it from me uh but again you know those are memories that that last a lifetime and you know was just very fortunate to be a part of it